the Blockchain Innovation Conference on June the 7th in Utrecht at Rabobank. Be there. My name is Vincent Everts and I looked at free videos which were really very, very interesting for me as a trend watcher. The free tech giants all gave their developer conference in a couple of weeks. So first, Facebook was there and Mark talked for a one and a half hour. We're summarizing it in about seven minutes. Then Google gave a uh, conference uh, and it was on uh, May the 8th. Uh, we're also going to uh, summarize that in a couple, in 14 minutes, really interesting. And then we have uh, Microsoft, who gave a free hour keynote, free hours, and uh, on May the 7th, and we'll also, also summarize that in 15 minutes. So um, enjoy. Of course, Mark talked about privacy, integrity, and making sure that fake news would never be able to, uh, to get anywhere, and make sure that you have related articles and find out where it comes from, and make sure that when people have problems, that uh, it's not going to ruin any uh, election anymore. He was full of integrity. Then data privacy. We can clear our own history, which I think is really uh, useful. So that was the first uh, third, and he was very apologetic, and he is going to do something about it. He's adapting. Then immediately he's going to go conquer the world more because it's dating on Facebook. So, uh, you know, uh, dating, and he's really, it's really interesting to see how they're going to date because dating is going to be so full of privacy, but also so connected and it's going to be quite a lot of fun. Then video chat. Video chat with multiple people, both in Instagram, in Facebook, and WhatsApp is bringing a sharing of screen. It's going to be there in a, nice, uh, in a nice way. And you can share your screen. You can share the people. And it's all going to be cross-platform, including uh, WhatsApp. And then VR. You know, Oculus, uh, they pay $2 billion for it. And they're going to make sure that we have it. So they first came out with a very high quality and also very inexpensive headset of $199. But all kinds of services so that you can have all kinds of live events like soccer, but also like gaming and cinemas that you can basically do that together. 1,000 apps, 199 and 249 for 64 gigabyte uh, version. That was Facebook. There's a lot more. Then we have Google I.O., which I thought was really masterful. They first started about I.O. They can do all kinds of, um, all kinds of data, all kinds of data uh, analysis and predict if an, if an heart attack will occur or will reoccur. So uh, th that was very interesting. But um, then, of course, they went on to normal things like, oh, okay, you have a nice movie, you have a nice video. If you want to take, make it black in the background, we can do that. Or if you have a black and white movie, we can f uh, photo, we can make it colorful again. Play around with Google Lens. Really interesting. And then uh, Google is going to make phone calls for us. And I have to show you this because this is really brilliant. This is really brilliant. It will make phone calls. And it's unbelievable good. It's really fantastic. And it's so fun when how, how smart that uh, Google Assistant uh, will be. Good evening. Hello? Hello. Hi. Um, I'd like to reserve a table for Friday the 3rd. Okay, hold on one moment. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hold on one second. Mm -hmm. So Friday, November 3rd, how many people? Four, two people. Two people? Yeah. What time? At 5 p.m. Okay. And your name? The first name is Daniel. That's D-A-N-I-E-L. Okay. You're all set. Okay, great. Thank then we have all kinds of smart screens. Big, huge screens for for in the uh, in the schools and all the business, but also smart screens and that you can do video conferencing on those things. Coming in July to a place near you, they have improved Google News to make sure that you really understand what's important, what kind of news is important for you, what you're following, but also that you can go take a deep dive and that they also look after fake news for us. So that's really important. They have a lot of artificial intelligence in the operating system. And for example, you have an, uh, a dashboard and they can predict what your next step is. They also can optimize the battery in a lot of things, a lot of better way. And I really would like that if that, if that works there. And an, an app can just be a small part of a screen inside the screen. So an app can be a mini app on the, on the screen. So you don't have to go from app to app. It can integrate internally. And there's a kit where you can 
make, make, the, make your own apps and, and do face detection, the text recognition and the smart conversations and those kinds of things. And I really like that. And they also are taking care of our digital well-being. So they make sure that you don't always use your phone and that you not get too many interactions with it and that you can pay attention to the one you love. So Silicon Valley is listening to us and giving us also time to spend with our loved ones. I love the dashboard. It will tell you how much you use the phone, how many times you pick it up, what kind of, uh, how you spend your time, how many alerts you get, and that you can really smartly go into all kinds of different modes. The shush mode is making sure that it's going a little bit less intense um, and um, I accept if the, the people are really important, they can come through that. Uh, Do not disturb, of course, is implemented in a good way. And wind down mode, I really like that. That's um, the, the artificial intelligence inside Android is launched with these kinds of uh, companies. Uh, not my Samsung uh, account, unfortunately. Google Maps also has beautiful uh, new, uh, beautiful new ways to look at because what can they do? Uh, it can show you all the changes and it can see, hey, what's interesting for you? What did change in the maps around you, in the world around you? You can immediately get a view from that. And also, if I want to have, for example, a restaurant, I can select a couple of restaurants and the, the friends together, we can vote in real time and, and get a feeling of where we want to go together. So that was really nice. Everything happens with uh, Google Lens. Google Lens is a beautiful application. You take a photo and it tells you immediately something about it and where you can find it and other news about it. If you, um, if you look at uh, in the street corner, a lot of times I don't know if I have to go left or right. And now it basically says, hey, you have to go left. It looks at the real screen. It's augmented and it tells you to go left. And that's so much better. I'm really waiting for that. Or you can just put your camera up and says, oh, we have this business here. Everything you have on Google Maps will also show up in your real camera. I think that's really cool. They're really using this camera. They're making that the eyes of the world and digitally integrated. Of course, with all your privacy and, you know, just guaranteed. We'll see about that. You take a picture of a, of a you take a picture of anything, and it will show up what it is, where you can buy it, while, uh, information about it, so about a dog or something like that. It's really nice. Then you just take pictures of text, and immediately uh, you know it can be a recipe. You can copy paste. You can copy paste it. Uh, you can copy paste it into real text in email, WhatsApp. If you take a picture of a PDF document, you can immediately uh, it will recognize it, and you can uh, then copy paste and work around with it. Take a picture of a lamp and you immediately can see what kind of uh, lamp it is and how, if you can buy other things uh, there. So that's uh, Google Lens is on these kinds of things available. We had Wayno who can just run 30,000 miles, 30,000 miles without one person touching the wheel. So I thought that was really amazing. We're going to get so much more. They had a 100% better reduction in error rate and it was really amazing. Okay, then we had Microsoft, and uh, that's much more business to business, but they talked a lot about responsibility and uh, privacy and human rights and uh, those kinds of things, and ethical AI, how to develop that. And they also have um, uh, Azure, but, uh, you know, it's cloud service, but the cloud service really gets into the uh, things like uh, all, the, all, the, um, all the Internet of Things, and instead of running it, in everything in the cloud, it can download software in Internet of Things, for example, a drone, and do all the processing there. So I think that's a very smart way, and they showed all kinds of nice examples with that. So that's uh, Azure, the AI infrastructure, and they had uh, very fast, uh, very fast ways to use that. And they have a new chip, which runs a lot faster than everything to do that AI. They also integrated, uh, they also integrated Alexa and Cortana, which is bo both assistants, and they can talk. <laughs> It's really fun to see how they can assist all uh, all each other life, and they gave demo that in the business environment. Um, of course, you know the um, the uh, augmented reality glasses of, uh, of 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 Microsoft, and they have two applications, and they show a nice demo how you can choose that in business, how you can look through the eyes of somebody else who has a HoloLens on there, and you can assist them and uh, work together on a project when an expert is on somewhere else and can make can make uh, can help. And they also can collaborate in real space and design things. So I thought that was really cool. But um, And they have some new products about that and some uh, runtime. But really what I thought was great, 
was meeting, a meeting. The meeting was more, so much better with AI. It listens to you. It translates immediately in other languages. It summarizes. It makes notes. And I go like, wow, this is the really, that's the way I want to work with that. And they, uh, the AI really understands when you're talking, when somebody else is talking. So that's really cool. And they announced a big AI kit for accessibility for 1 billion plus people who are handicapped. So that's it. Really interesting stuff. Spend half an hour, and then you have all the summaries, and then you have all the trends you need for the rest of the for the rest of the year because that's really cool. Okay, thanks. See you.